Cifrodram Television, Unlimited Entertainment. It's an honor again to be here. Happy to It's always an honor to be here. It's always an honor. It's very great honor. I'm always, I'm not usually lost for words. But sometimes I'm lost for words. When the things happen to me are beyond me, I'm lost for words. I'm actually always at a loss for words when I'm before Kabis because of the way he relates with me, with every sense of humility. He calls me his friend. If my father were still alive, he's older than my father. And he calls me his friend. And I have confidence you know, to say, Kabis is my friend. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I'm always honored. And you meeting people like you is a fulfillment of God's work for me in my life. And the beautiful glory too. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Thank you very, very much for, for your essence, for what you lose out all the time. And I pray that. I went to America and I went 
when that time purposely because of that. So around 2016, 17, he started coming to me heavily. That this is the time. This is the time. And if I hear that, it is better than if I talk about what you mean, for fellowship, for common. I mean, it's your local pajawa, local local pajawa. That's the normal way that I wanted it to be. So I went to America, and I met. They invited me to that Baba's church. A very small gathering, very small fellowship. But I didn't know they were so powerful. I didn't know. The other churches I went that gave me big, big money, I didn't feel led to talk to them about it. I would have thought, I hope young people are hearing me. I would have thought I would only package it. They say, you are beautiful. This man do not want to accept that they are not manly. Only one man alone. For me, the place of honor for everybody, whoever that they are. So, when I finished ministry in the Baba Church, so he asked me, is there anything he could do for me? I was like, there's nothing that I want right now. But I believe that the Spirit of God was laying on my mind that my family is going to live abroad. And I don't want to do it in an illegal way. I don't want to do it like normally one for money visa, I travel, I want to go see I am not saying the people that do it is wrong. I'm saying my own story. Everybody has where they are coming from. I am not underwriting anybody's testimony. I am saying my own. That's how it happened for me. So he now told me that, oh, okay, we will do something about it, let's see what we can do. We can go and see the lawyer, we can do this and that and that. And that's how the process is done. And if you see me on social media, that uh, I, I, I don't live in Nigeria, it's a lie. So this is me in Nigeria. I can cope. I have it. Opportunity, the privilege of being able to go and come, and I'm staying there later. So, Kabe Sisa, it was because of that when he said I should please help me to talk to you. You know, I've never called him before because I didn't want to have the access that I have to. And I'm so grateful for the help, you know, for accepting them. Please let me appreciate that message. Please let me appreciate that message. So for young people, that's an organization I've got that is a Yoruba organization. And I sing in Yoruba. And it would have looked like there is limits to me because I'm singing in Yoruba. So I stand before you if God has told you to do something in a particular way. As long as it is God, don't be open channel. As long as it is God. So this fellowship, Yoruba Christian Fellowship in Houston, Texas, as, as it is Yoruba Christian Fellowship, they do their service, everything in Yoruba. Who could have thought? Who could have thought? Saloda Pire. Saloda Pire. Niju Koko Alaba. Saloda Pire. So if there's anything in your heart, that the Spirit of God is laying on your heart to do. Please don't be afraid. Do it as the Spirit of God is leading you to do it. I know this is for someone. I wouldn't have said it. I was fighting the same. Like, let me keep my testimony to myself. But it's going to be at a disservice to the people whose souls God wants my soul to reach. And I hope you heard me say something. I hope your hope is revived. I hope you won't continue complaining about this book that you are on or in right now. I hope you will know that it's just a part of your story. I hope you remember some of my story that you have heard. And you are better, not very much. With all sense of modesty and humility, I'm saying this. And as I'm saying it, I'm not comfortable. But because I have to say it, I hope someone here, I hope you know that the story is still being written. I hope you know that you must not give up whatever it is. I know things are hard in Nigeria. I won't but me what it is my heart. What is Sherry now? Now that's what you talk, what is Sherry? I'm not saying it in a political way. I think I'm not 
before. I'm not a historian. I'm becoming an older woman. I know how Nigeria has been. There was a time, come on, my last door, so my pajama. There was a time, so I mean, things have been happening before. But I'm not too young. What am I young? I'm not too young. What am I young? You see what they're going to do? Why don't you stop complaining? God has not given you the spirit of faith. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Hallelujah. So that's for you to know that it's possible. But I was thinking about it when it was very clear to me that I will leave my brother with my child. Of course, that's the way I know. I want to leave something for my children that nobody left for me. And I wanted to do it in a legal way. I didn't want to do it. I want to make it on one side of the country. The Bible says if you are willing and obedient, so we need the good of the land. It's if you are willing and obedient to everything, to the laws of the land, to everything. I'm not perfect, but I mean, I know that aspect. And because I've become child now, there are some things I should not be found on. For my own, everybody has the process of their own growth. That's where I've come to. And it has become possible. Hallelujah. So that's why sometimes, if you follow me on social media, you see me, I'm in America, I'm in Nigeria, I'm in America, two days ago, I'm in Nigeria today. It's for the grace of God and mercy of God. It's available for you too. Whatever that you are seeking, whatever that you are seeking for your child, whatever that you are thinking for your child, it's available, it's possible. It won't
Shut up. 